Well, I never do like electric fence training day, but it's good for them. It has to happen. I can do my right hand, I can do this bigger teat a lot faster. You can always tell when the food goes into her back chambers. Because you hear it. Back stomachs. Two gallons. If that helps at all. Yeah. Nope. Oh, hello. It's gonna be like 74 degrees. Wow, look how beautiful those clouds are. Good catch, babe. <laughs> Good time. You got lunch. Come on, Goldie. Let's go. Here we go. Come on, Goldie. Goldie! No, 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 no. Come on. Let's go right here. Okay, I'm embarrassed by this. I'm trying to do good. We're trying to grow this property. And sometimes you get caught behind. There's a lot to do whenever you're building a house and having raw land and you just want animals. So we've kept Bill and Missy, our two Idaho pasture pigs, in a space separated in a smaller space for too long. Now that our feeder pigs are gone, we now have more time to open this up. So we are first going to be getting Bill, our boar, in the same pen with Missy. They're not going to have babies yet. Yeah, they Ollie are. wants them to have babies. They it's, are. She's not ready yet, but they are, they are a size. She's bigger now that I think they're going to do better. I got to try and I know it. No, they're not. Are you sure? Yeah. We're not going to get made. Right. First thing we're not going to have to. For the time lapse. Uh, we're not doing it. <laughs> Don't let, don't let urine touch him. It's okay. Wait, don't let what touch him? 
you're that in. I thought you said urine. No, okay. <laughs> Chip, Bill, come here. Bill, Bill look. Bill. Bill. There you go. Do you like that? I'm How do you like skittish. that? That is kind of funny. Okay, let's bring you over to Bill. Mr. Bill. No, no. Yes, Bill. Yes. Bill. Yay. Woohoo! Oh, oh, yeah, they love each other. <laughs> uh, sort of. I'm not sure if that's love. <laughs> oh. Oh. They like her. Okay, so I'm slowly learning my lesson with Goldie on stocking density. I definitely am giving her too big of a paddock. It, you might think that this is not a lot of space, but in terms of what she's able to handle in a given day of grazing, it's, she's going, so right here, all this green stuff that she's going at right now, this is where the chickens were you know, six months ago uh, before, uh, in the spring, and I left them here for a long time. So it's so much nitrogen that it was just huge, so much growth right here. And so she's really going for all of that ice cream first. And there's a lot of uh, brown grazing stuff with seed heads that, you know, she just doesn't really want to eat. And so basically what that means is I'm not forcing her to eat the ice cream first and then eat all of her veggies second. She's There's a lot of ice cream that she can go eat and so she's kind of overgrazing this spot a little bit. I'm learning it, I'm not gonna mess with her, but I'm learning that what I need to do is to give her smaller paddocks because look over there, like there's all of this that she could have eaten. There's all of the stuff with the, the seed heads and I should have given her a smaller paddock for an extra day versus making this a bigger paddock for a couple of days. It's just, I'm learning. Not doing good, but I'm learning. This is kind of cool out. There's a little bit of a spring in there to get you that last bit. So that's awesome. I didn't know that there was a little spring in there to be able to do that. That, that helps a lot. Okay, time to turn it on.
Well, I never do like electric fence training day, but it's good for them. It has to happen. I'm gonna let them do that, and then I'm gonna come through here and clean the rest of their new paddock up. But our breeding pair of Idaho pasture pigs, they're together. She's not ready to be bred yet, but we wanna be able to get them going and so that once she starts going into heat, she is ready to go.